So this is the Axial Rift, a radio controlled rock bouncer. And in the last video, we fitted a stupidly fast motor and melted it. So in this video, we're gonna fit an even faster one. Also, we've got a two-speed transmission for better crawling, some absolutely epic looking alloy wheels. We'll have a look at these a bit later, and some brand new tires. The servo saver completely sucks. So we've got a Trill Hobby one to upgrade it. And we bent a sway bar, so we've got a Trill Hobby one too. By the way, we are attempting to build the world's best full-size monster truck. And I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna give it our best shot anyway. So if you haven't seen those videos, they are on this channel. And we've got a great big Chevy V8, supercharged 1500 to 2000 horsepower alcohol engine, which should turn up in the next few weeks. So this video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, the world's best VPN service provider with over 30 million downloads. It's super easy to install and available on most platforms. You can get it on Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, mobile, and desktop. And you can choose to connect to servers in over 75 different countries. So we're gonna select America here. Boom, in seconds we're connected. Private internet access changes your IP address and reroutes your internet activity through an encrypted tunnel. They never record or store any of your data, which has been proven many times in court. Private internet access hides your online activity from internet service providers, administrators, and governments. It works with all major streaming services, so you've got access to all your favorite content all over the world. It even supports peer-to-peer -peer file sharing and torrenting. So you get unlimited content with zero restrictions, there's 15 million satisfied customers worldwide, you get 24-7 customer support, and it's 100% transparent with their open source software. And it's the world's most customizable VPN on the market. Signing up to private internet access is fully risk free and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So click in the link down in the description box down below to get three years access for just $2.08 per month and two months free. Oh, check it out guys, we have horsepower. This is actually gonna be the fourth motor combo in this car. So the first motor, the stock motor, it's got no sensor wire, so what was happening is the car was cogging. So when you're trying to go slow, it was really difficult to go slowly, it would just kind of hesitate and stutter. So we got rid of that and we got a hobby wing axe. Now hobby wing, the axe system has the best centered system in the business. So you can go really slow with these, super controlled, super smooth. For crawling, it is the best that money can buy but it was really unpredictable. If you're trying to bounce it like a rock bouncer, there was way too much delay. When you accelerate, when you hit the power, the gas, it took way too long to ramp up and then took way too long to slow down again. So completely useless. So we went for the 10th scale castle system, what's in there now, and it melted. So now we have the 8th scale system. Hopefully this is gonna do it. And that coupled with the two speed transmission should hopefully make it go really fast and also be able to crawl really well too. We already have the Trill aluminium axle housings, stiff locks, suspension arms, Hopefully this motor is gonna make it absolutely epic. If it doesn't, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm probably gonna give up with it. Right, that's enough waffle. Let's rip it apart and see if the new bigger motor fits. Guys, this motor is mahoosive. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in there. Let's give it a go anyway. I wish you had smell -o vision This thing stinks. <sighs> The compression has completely gone. Please fit. So it bolts onto the mount. Trouble is, it hangs down quite low and it's quite long. So I'm hoping it's gonna fit in here. Nope, it won't fit. If you look here, look, that's got a line up in there and the motor is hitting on that arm there. But no big deal, we have tools. So here's how much we have to cut out. Hopefully it's not gonna weaken it too much. Guys, these tools are so handy. It's basically a little blade on the end. It vibrates back and forth. It just means that you can get into some really tight spaces. Boom! Actually, not boom. It's not sitting down on the mount here fully. It's sitting on this little link here. Not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll put you back on when I've done it. All right, here's my solution. So, I glued on these little spacers here where the gearbox sits on and changed these lower arms on the front here to these trill ones here. I also ground a little bit here off to make room for the motor. So hopefully now it's gonna fit. Yes, we're in guys. Hopefully this lot's gonna fit back on afterwards. So next, let's fit the two-speed transmission. 
Check this out, guys. It's all metal gears, two-speed transmission mechanism. So, guys, I'm going to put a link down below where we can get this from. It's actually really cheap for what you get. It also comes with instructions, so it should be fairly simple to fix. Next, we have to grease it all up. Well, we're in. I think I'm gonna move this screw down a hole just so there's less load on this bracket thing here. Just when we took so much plastic away from the inside, I'm thinking the higher up this is, the more load there is, the more likely it is to snap it off. Guys, if you're gonna do this conversion, I would probably get a normal size motor. This is way too big for it. Next, we've got a solder on the battery connector. You've got the motor plugged into the speed controller now you've got to make sure that you put a b and c into the corresponding ones on the motor if you mix them up the co you could cause a fire because we're running a sensor lead if you're running a sensorless system without this lead then you can put this any way you like but what the sensor lead does it kind of tells the motor what position it's in so when you're going slow you can go really slow call it really slow and when you want to go fast you can go fast if you haven't got this it's going to cog and cough and splatter and that's fine when you're bashing but when you're crawling you want it to be as smooth as possible i've also cut the switch off and soldered the two wires together i think it's a nice like a cleaner setup do you know what i think that's going to fit around the motor but we do need to trim a little bit out of the cap here just to let the speed control to fit boom and it all fits in there check it out the motor's in the speed controller's in yes i was really worried that that motor was going to hit the chassis so next we've got to set up the esc and the servo get it all working then we can put it back together again get these alloy wheels on and then we can take it out for a rip next we have to calibrate the esc but i'm not going to bore you with that i'll get you back on when it's all set up oh i right, got it all set up but i burnt out the shifting servo i set the esc to eight volts which is all right on the servo, on the steering servo, but I think this little servo here couldn't quite take it, so it burnt it out. But luckily, I had a Tower Pro servo kicking about, a dirt cheap Banggood special, fitted in there perfectly. It feels like it's got a load more power than this one as well, so happy days. But you do have to buy this one, really, because it comes with the servo saver attachment. But if you do burn this one out, then you can always fit that one. Link to that down below. But there we go, we've got steering, we've got power. We can shift gear here. Next, let's get the servo saver changed. So this is a Armour 3S servo saver. Trouble is, it's fairly weak, so it makes the steering really bad. Hopefully the trill one is gonna give it loads more power. So next, we're gonna take this bent sway bar off and fit the heavy duty trill one. Check this out, guys. So the trill ones have got ball bearings in the sway bars. I'll check out the quality of these trill parts. Next, let's have a look at the ammo wheels and then we're gonna mount them. And then we're gonna take it out for a rip. Oh my God, guys, check that out. Oh my god, guys, how sick does that look? Check it out! <coughs> All right, guys, let's get a battery in there and give it its first run. Now, we're starting off on a 3S. This B controller can actually do 6S, but later on, we're going to try that. For now, we're going to start it off on 3S. Check out that Banggood Special Servo. Loads of speed and power. Now for the power. Whoa. Guys, that's only on 3S. You wait till we put it on 6S. 
All right, now slow speed. <laughs> and guys, that cuts the gearing in half. So low gear, let's see how well it can crawl. Wow, look at that, guys. Check that out. Steeper. Oh, tumble humble. So look how slow we can crawl now. And now second gear. Back into first gear. I wonder if we can crawl between the two tires. Oh, 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 tumble humble. Can it do the staircase of doom? That is so much more controlled compared to what it used to be. Oh, tumble one. So a bit later, we're going to try it on 6S LiPo, but for now, let's take it out into the real world. But check it out, guys. How epic does it look? Here we go, flat out. So that was first gear, and now for second gear launch. Oh my God. <laughs> Man, this has got some power! What? That's only on 4S, you wait till we do this on 6S. Oh, tumble wumble. Man, it's got a lot of power and it's got control. With that sensor system, we can go nice and slow, then we can go fast. And then we can chuck it into low gear and crawl slowly. Now we can crawl and we can bounce. Up. Now we can crawl and bounce. Oh look, jump. We'll hit this, land down there, and hopefully it's gonna survive. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it bounces off a tree. Tumble, wumble, come on, come on, come on. Wheels, yes. Guys, this car's epic now, look at it. You can bash and crawl and we've broken it. Ah, uh, broke a falling bar. Trill have actually sent me some Trill ones to put on there, but I thought they weren't needed, so I was wrong. So we will take it home and put those on. But we can still crawl. <laughs> oh, that was in the face. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Just fixed it. Good old Steve over there in his bash sack with like the world's biggest model shop. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again, all right. <laughs> I really like it now. Well, I have enjoyed it. <laughs> this thing's epic now. Guys, this car's epic now. This is what it should have been all along. Come on, come we? Oh dear, what happened? What happened there? Broke a pin.
We'll take it apart and have a look and see what's going on. Guys, this truck is so much fun now. This is how it should have been. Now, I would say it's perfect. It's got the right weight, all these extra heavy axles and the heavier wheels. It keeps the weight all low down. All the arms are strong now. The motor system, the power is perfect. You can crawl it, you can go fast. It can do everything. But these stock links, they are a weak spot. We did break one, so let's chuck a set of these trail ones on there. I did originally want to keep a weak spot on here, but the original ones are so weak, I think it's going to take away from the fun of the car. Next, we've got to take the body off again to get to these top four link bars here. I'm going to do that off camera. You saw that whole procedure earlier. But we do need to get the wheels off, and this front one here, it's seized on. Oh my god. This was slipping earlier, and I think the power of the motor just tightened it on there really tightly. Let's get the ugga dugger on there. Ha ha ha! Me walkie tough, baby. Yeah, look at that. That drive pin in there has snapped off. Look at that, snapped off right in there. That's probably going to be the weak spot now, but that's a nice cheap fix before it rounded off the wheels. Now, if all it does is snaps a pin, easy fix. There we go, all put back together again and ready for action, guys. These trill parts are super tough. I've never ever broken any. Hopefully, they're not going to break the chassis. Time will tell, but man, what a rig. And I'm going to put a link down below where you can get the car from and all the upgrades. Don't forget, we only ran it on 4S LiPo today. We're going to try it on 6S on a different day. More S means more power. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it.